Hey, this nigga told me he want receipts. Let's start with your mother, nigga. Your mother got the receipts, nigga. Everything is in your mother name. That's the one who got the receipts, nigga. You need more proof, nigga? Biggie ain't here, so Big can't give you no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts. He dead. What are you talking about? Who else? Black Rob can't give you receipts. He dead. And everybody else you made sign paperwork so they can't talk about what I'm talking about. I'm the only one with the guts. You're not signing, nigga. Because I ain't need the money. All money ain't good money. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that, nigga. You know the Guess what just surfaced? Turns out Diddy and Ma crossed paths in the late 90s when Maze was just starting his rap journey. Diddy, with his knack for spotting talent, signed Maze to Bad Boy Records, leading to chart topping collaborations like More Money, More Problems, and Feel So Good. But here's where things take a dark turn. Rumors suggest Diddy attempt to lure Maze into a disturbing sex cult. You think that I'm a scumbag that would ever steal anything? My name is Diddy, Sean Combs. I never took nothing from nobody a day in my life. All I've ever given is is opportunity and 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 more money than a person was making. So when I hear like or I see things and I'm like, wow, this 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 vibe that they got on me, like I'm big red or something. I came here, I had to open up the doors. So you're saying you I don't mean, you, 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 you don't mean, steal from artists is what you're saying? Never, never, So how never, does a narrative like that happen ne, with so ne, many ne, different ne, people? Because people have this thing called the tap out button. When you get to a certain point and the money is running low, you wanna, you gotta run this hustle to try to find somebody to blame. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have all my receipts. And so we are going to do a special, a retrospective with all the artists, and we're going to get this narrative clear. You know, just in general, it, you know, the Mace thing, you know, I did one album with Mace. One album. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album? And then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people. And then y'all gonna let him throw dirt on the God's name? We going, we, I wrote each and every one, and each and every body, anybody could come and step up. Bring your receipts. But I'm not playing. I'm back outside and I'm fighting back for us. And I'm also doing, do a little fighting back for me. You know what I'm saying? So, how much money does, and I'm, I'm just throwing this out, how much money does somebody like a Mace owe you? Because the, the reason I Mace say that. Mace owes me $3 million. That's <laughs> facts. I got the receipt. Second album, you gave money to do a second album, never delivered. Did the album, never delivered. You know okay. what I'm saying? And I'm not going to go back and forth with Mace. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I'm just going to, if I'm here, I'm going to speak up for myself. I'm going to speak up for myself now. You know what I'm saying? What would the lot you know, say? Like, I spoke to the lot. Yeah, I told the lot. They going to help me clear it up. Yeah. They know, I mean, people, I mean, the truth going to be the truth. Maz refused to be Diddy's pawn, so the story goes. And allegedly, Diddy retaliated by plotting to have him eliminated. It said that Diddy trapped Mai in a hotel, aware that some dangerous individuals were seeking revenge for Tupac's death. Crazy, right? The night that Biggie Small died, where were you and what did you do in the aftermath right after Biggie Small died? Hmm. Where was I? I was in the hotel. What people? Here, that sound like a Keefy D question. <laughs> no, they, they didn't say you was involved. They wanted to, <laughs> yeah, I guess they knew everybody from Bad Boy was out there. Oh yeah, I was in the hotel. I was actually in the hotel with, with a young lady. And when you heard this information, what did what was your next actions? My next actions? What after, after what? When you heard Biggie died, did you stay in your hotel room? Did you leave out? Did you um, want to go back I to New York? Actually, I actually was trapped in a hotel. Now I want to ask the question. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean trapped? It was about probably like 70, 70 or so bloods in the, in the hallway. I couldn't even leave my room. How'd you get out? Um, one of the, the Why guys, would it be 70 bloods in your hallway after Biggie Small stopped? Um, actually, after Big got killed, they was probably looking for more bad boy artists. And I couldn't even leave the room till um, Gene Dill, the one at the officer, came had to come get me. That's fucked up. I Sorry, was, I was left in, in in LA, and that and from that day, I always said, you know, I'm out of here. When you say you was left, what do you mean you was left? 
Like I was I was Who left, left you? Came there with people I didn't leave with those people <laughs> You know how I go My Find last your question way on this situation Because I see you, <laughs> you must be saving this for the book <laughs> How did you How did you eventually Get out the hotel after, Where did you go when Gene came to pick you up? How'd you get back to New York or the East Coast or wherever? Um, at, to my To my recollection I think we Um I think we had to go to Vegas or something like that. Get back. There you have it. That's where Mace was at, and that's what happened in the aftermath of Biggie Small's death. Well, we got yeah. info up here, Stats. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Shit is <just> crazy. <laughs> it's time for the movie, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. And no Keefe D. <laughs> yeah. ain't on no nah, that's like, why. That's why after that, that's why I always kept that in my mind. Like, oh, yeah, this how, I, this how I go. Right. When it get crazy. Hey man, for yourself. I got your back, bro. Yeah, I, I take one for you. Pause, man. <laughs> My nigga, yeah. man, I ain't gonna leave you. That's how. That's how, That's and that that kind of made me the way I think. So that's it was kind of bad. I got your back, man. I, I dig know. it. You know, listen, you know, let me tell you something. When me and Mace was getting this together, Mace was coming to me like, niggas ain't going to be playing with me all week. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Yo, calm the fuck down. Nah, Kim, I don't know who we stand at. I said, yo, my nigga. But if you got to, you know, you got to take into consideration yeah. to what he's yeah. been through as well. So I was like, yo, let me get this shit done. So <laughs> nigga ain't barking on me like that, man. I'm not like that, bro. So I dig that 100%. Mace, you know, was from Harlem. And when I seen Mace run, driving around to California with Stevie J and his other guy in a drop top white Benz, you know, I flipped on him. I was like, yo, my man, you from Harlem. Don't you know these cats out here will tear your head down to the white meat? What's wrong with you? It's not sweet out here, bro. Then Mace said, yeah, I know. And he told me about the basketball game or something that he went to and they, how they was telling him that they wanted big and puff and he was all right he was good so mace did not show up to the party the night big got murdered he said he was in the room with brandy right i called mace that morning and uh me and mace spoke and then he was telling me all them bloods and everything that was out there I was with a couple of dudes that were from Black Hands, which is a part of the Black Gorilla Mafia. You know what I mean? And we just went to the end of his hallway. He said there was a lot of bloods out there. There's some, there's some dudes out there I wasn't recognizing. You, you know, I recognized, but I don't think it was, you know, he said it was like 70. When I got there, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that many blue dudes out there like that. But he could have seen 70, 17, 20, 30. When, when you think somebody trying to get you, you and niggas is running the hallways because they know bad boy was staying there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dudes. So when I got there with my team and everything, dudes who was came to the hospital with us, we was good. So all we had to do was put them in a cab or, or, or car service so we can go where he had to go. And that was it. It was to me. It wasn't nothing. You understand? But to somebody in fear of their life, I can understand where he's coming from. You feel me? You know, I'm already. You know, we already lost big. We on high alert. You understand? And now I got some dudes with me that's about it, about it. That's what they do. You know, I was with Chaz Williams and a couple of his dudes from out there in Cali. You understand? They belong to the grill. Uh, the I think it's the Black Gorilla Mafia or family. And then I'm with Black Hands. And Chaz had a couple of his dudes. So I'm good. So we just made sure Mace was good. Yeah, he said that she was the only one that came to get him. He said that, you know, everybody that he went to LA with, he ain't leave with, you know? He said that everybody else was looking out for themselves. Well, <laughs> Puff went to San Diego and they put him on a jet about two hours after Big died. You know what I mean? So, uh, Clarence Avant and um, what's his name? Clarence Avant and Andre Harrell made sure we did that. I was supposed to go on the plane with him, but I was like, nah, I, I ain't effing with you, bro. I'm out of here. So I went with the thing because we was going to follow him that whole 120 miles. And um, 
He said, no, nah, we ain't need all that. So I didn't understand that. So I just jumped in the car with Chaz and the other teams and we went back to the hotel and then got that call from Mace early and I called them and they came back over with me and we went on and did what we had to do. But one thing that did caught my attention, cause this story went viral, but I did notice a whole lot of big media outlets when they was reporting about this story, they all were saying that Mace was lying. Nah, he, Mace ain't, he, you know, they might, you gotta understand when you scared and you see, you know, a bunch of dudes, whether he said it was 70, 30, 20, 10, you, you in fear of your life. In 2017, they shocked everyone by coming together at the Bad Boy Family Reunion Tour, a moment of redemption and closure for both artists. However, their reconciliation was short-lived as of now. May seems to be reading in Diddy's downfall, making no effort to conceal his satisfaction. 